Hi, I'm Dr. Kevin Campbell. I'm a cardiologist from the University of North Carolina. Every time I get to talk to one of my patients about diet, I immediately see a fear in their eyes. It makes all the difference in the world when I can tell my patients that they can still eat some of their most favorite foods, like beef. I mention beef today because there's new research out there about the role of lean beef in a heart-healthy diet. Here's what I've learned. Now picture this. Beef is actually leaner than you think. Lean beef is similar to skinless, boneless chicken in terms of total fat and saturated fat. And I'm not talking about obscure beef cuts, no way. Some of America's favorite beef cuts qualify as lean, such as top sirloin, tenderloin, flank steak, and even 93% lean ground beef. Part of the reason beef is leaner today is that it is trimmed most of the visible fat. You might remember a long time ago, beef had a lot of fat on the outside that you could see in the grocery store. Today's beef does not look like that at all. In fact, there's 81% less external fat on the beef we buy in supermarkets today. That's a huge change. And that's no doubt why so many clinical trials today are showing that eating lean beef, even daily as a part of a complete heart healthy diet and lifestyle is just as effective as the DASH diet in reducing certain risk factors for heart disease. The DASH diet has been the gold standard for cardiologists for years, but today we need to be more flexible with our patients, particularly when it comes to beef. In one large recent clinical trial, adults who had high cholesterol ate four to 5.4 ounces of lean beef daily, and they actually lowered their LDL cholesterol by 10%. That's as much as the trial subjects who followed a DASH diet that contained little or no beef. Which leads me to my final point, healthy living. The great thing about lean beef is that it's a high quality protein. And we know protein plays a very important role in weight management by increasing satiety and building muscle. It only takes one serving or three ounces of protein at every meal to get the full power of protein. And then I show my patients two important things, a list of many activities that get their body moving in 30 to 60 minutes a day. And I draw them a picture of a healthy plate. This plate should have half of it consumed with nothing but fruits and vegetables. A quarter should be whole grains. The last quarter can be a lean protein of their choosing, even beef.